What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Duo here, welcoming you all to the finale of the Effery Pokemon Association. Woo! I can't believe we're getting into this. This is going to be a crazy and different style of video. Um, as you guys can already see and already tell, I don't look prepped and ready for a fight against somebody. That's because I'm not. Unfortunately, the question mark in the thumbnail is because we're going to be doing random battles, talking about the season, um, and everything else. Because, uh, unfortunately, the match that preceded the finale match with me was incomplete. Now... I don't know, I'm going to get into Rata Battle so that I can talk about this. I don't know what happened, but all I can say is that I really just hope the best for my two possible opponents. And honestly, everybody in the league. But I was really hyped, really thrilled to get into a finale. Um, and of course, that is not happening. Um, effectively, I have won the season. Um, based off of an incomplete final or match to get into the finals, so there was a no contest finale victory. I, like I said, I just hope the best. The league was a for fun purposes league, and if life happens and if there was issues, I would one hundred percent expect either and any of my opponents to prioritize life first as much as it's an unfortunate circumstance um if if slash where there is life events that need to be taken care of that is 100 percent the priority over a pokemon league and it just makes the most sense now i said and i'm gonna reference this uh a lot i sent a kind of dm thread to joy about the points and everything that i want to touch on and what i want to get to so yeah so here we go so i that was one thing that there is no actual battle and you know what it's completely understandable life happens life will get in the way and do anything it needs to so i just realized i have lightning rod and not rockhead what the frick okay oh speaking of joy hi sammy uh, point number two that I wanted to get across, of course, this was a fun league. So what happened and the events that transpired were not necessarily at, or not, I'm not even going to say not necessarily. Stuff that I wasn't expecting at all to happen was the case. And so I came into the league with a specific goal in mind. That goal was to showcase and have the opportunity to showcase every Mon on my team. Of course, I was going to flip Mons and change Mons and like all that stuff throughout the course of the season. But I really do think that I was able to showcase some interesting Mons and thought processes and ways to go about things, what to do, how I firmly play Pokemon. All of that was encapsulated within this one series. And that's why I'm doing Randos, is because I don't have to think about it, I just do. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of not thinking about it and just doing, um, I just thought about it and uh, got wrecked for it. Ha ha ha! Anyways. So... The goal, like I said, was to have fun in showcasing each Pokemon uh, that I could. And I, can't, and I believe, and for, I firmly believe that that goal was showcased starting week numero uno when I decided to go ahead and have Gloom be the star of the show. Personally, Gloom being the star of the show... For week one that was the tone setter uh that was how i wanted everything to be handled what i had thought about how i wanted to do things throughout the league and again in week two i 
further pursued that in making Aaron the star of the Week 2 game. So I wanted to showcase the little Mons, the Mons that not a lot of people thought about, they dismissed, everything else. Like, Week 5, Purloin was the star. Like, the little people and the, li the little Mons were the goal of the thing from the get-go. Now, <laughs> of course... If you're showcasing every mod, there are some weeks where, unfortunately, you're showcasing stuff like Kyogre. Sorry, Joy. Your week happened to be that week um, where Kyogre was the focus. Now, again, the goal is to have fun. So, with that being the personal, the goal of the league and throughout the league, it was just... Whatever happens, happens, Captain. Now, mind you, I know I was very anxious in a lot of battles. I was freaking out. This, that, the other. But that's just me as a person. I mean, I have my freaking anxiety monster energy drink with me right now. Because <coughs> I'm... <a> <coughs> oh, God. Because <clears throat> I'm anxious over a talking video. Like, I just have anxiety problems generally so that is why if things like came across a lot more serious in the videos it's just because anxiety it happens man it's i i'm working on it we're doing things we're making things happen now again as i was showcasing uh, the goal was to showcase my team clay it all in week nine for example like a, the only Mon I feel like I didn't get the opportunity to showcase was Rotom Heat. And that's because Rotom Heat just is very specific in how what to do and how it handles. So there's really nothing to showcase if a Mon's specific. I did enjoy the lead because it was literally showdown knowledge, throw that out of the freaking window, you're not going to be able to use it. And I was like, good, you know what? A league where you have to build meme sets and do meme like things great my take on that was pretty much actually exactly like this no move that's above 70 unless it's on a baby pokemon like aaron um and even that i had gotten permission for before doing it because i was curious it was only 75 percent accurate I figured it'd be okay with the accuracy and all the problems with it, and it being in the usually useless move category. Um, because 99.9% .9 of my selection was from that category alone. The only moves that I had selected that weren't part of that selection, Bolt Switch on Rotom Heat, um, Sucker Punch, which was borderline. Uh, honestly, I, I also felt that way. I asked for clarification beforehand. It was also considered borderline, but allowed. Um, so it was one of those, like, again, I asked for clerical advice when I didn't feel like I was being 100% certain in my moves and everything else. Again, what you were supposed to do, how you were supposed to handle those situations. So again, I'm proud of the way that I acted and w was like in the entirety of the series um and then of course the other one was scorching sands but again earth power was the other move that i could have selected and i'm like nope that's not a move that i'm using that's again too showdown specific uh or not showdown specific too smogon specific and i'm not gonna do that that's not how i'm gonna roll this um, so yeah, so other than those three moves, everything else was either a status move or selected from the usually useless moves category. Um, that's just how I ran it. Uh, technically, under those circumstances, it had to be under 70 as well. Because technically, under the circumstances of usually useless moves and status, I could have used Thousand Waves and a whole bunch of stupid things that I felt were too broken for the context of the League on Zygarde. Zygarde gets a lot of usually useless moves that are actually really, really good. And I just was like, no, no siree, not going to use it. That's not the point of the league. Uh, point of the league is just to have fun. And again, fun being the big word of the league. Do things, have fun. And that's what you do. 
Um, as far as my battles go, let me start another game so I'm not, like, still on a, a forfeit win. Um, but... The other part of this is, that I wanted to kind of delve into a little bit were some of my favorite battles in the league this season. Honestly, I thoroughly enjoyed doing the concept that the league rules state is recommended, which is getting into a call with whoever you're planning or you're recording, or not who you're recording with, getting into call with who you are um, facing and, you know, going, going forth and doing your thing. I loved that aspect because again, it was all about having fun, talking to new people, being with new people. I met some crazy, amazing, cool individuals during the course of the league. And I am very, very excited to hopefully, possibly, sorry about that, possibly maybe get in contact with them more and talk with them more to try and maybe at some point do something together because again i thoroughly enjoyed some of the people or a lot of all, all the people in the league but um of course as all things go some more so than others but all of them were amazing and all of them were fun and i loved to kind of see where things were at so um as i carry on forth my big thing uh was in my favorite battle if I'm going to be ultimately honest, was the battle against Joy. And this is not because, oh, uh, now you guys can't be like, oh my god, of course you picked Joy because it's Joy. And I'm like, okay, well, Joy's amazing. We all knew this, though. We all knew this way beforehand. But Joy had me on the ropes. Joy, quite frankly, should have won in her match against me. She got unlucky because... My meme and my gimmick that I just threw on my Kyogre to see if it worked ended up being the perfect counter to her team. That's not her fault. Because, again, the purpose of the league is to have fun and just do random, do random crap. Um, and my, like, because in an actual thing, if you notice that your opponent's going to minimize and do all that stuff, of course you're going to bring Roar. I didn't for the purpose of Let's just throw this on here and have fun. And, again, point of the league. Have fun. Um, I know I'm, like, saying it 800 times and you're probably getting tired of it. But I'm emphasizing that that was the point of the league in the first place. And the corresponding situation of going 12-0 and 0 is just purely happenstance. So, yes, we went 12-0. and 0. We went undefeated. And I... Do I feel good about it? Of course. I went undefeated in a series that I was the newbie for and didn't have any sole idea what was going on in a lot of circumstances on it, with, like how this league was going to format and work itself out. So, of course, I'm happy about it. I would not lie to your face and say, I'm not happy about this situation. Because I had, like I said, I had fun in this league. And that's all that I can ask for is just the simple fact of having fun. Also, I feel like you're going to freaking bullet punch my f swap. So do I... I'm just going to go to Gudra and hope that you actually do Meteor Mash. Ow! That did a lot. I don't know how randoms work. I don't have the... Ex okay. Tangent. There's a bullshit extension for random battles that you can see, like, their possible movesets. It's a dumb extension. Please don't use it. It's actually annoying when people use that. Um, just saying. Pointing it out there. Uh. But yes. So, again, point of the league was to have fun. So, my, my favorite match was against Joy, because I thought she had me on the ropes the most. Um, and I had the biggest potential of losing until I realized, oh, Snore bypasses sub. And then I just won. Uh, luck was involved in that. Don't get me wrong. It totally was. But... As soon as I figured that out, it was like, oh, the, cl the switch clicked. Uh, but again, furthering the proof that, again, that was a slap together. Let's throw it together. See what's going on. How, like, you know what? Cool. Uh, if I'm going to put myself intentionally to sleep, why not have snore? Thought process going into that. So, um, my another one of my favorite battles in this league 
and honestly, some of my favorite games personally came against Buff. Two games Buff and I had, both games 1-0 to zero victories. Buff also was the only person to successfully land an Oko move against my team. So, of course, Buff, Buff was like the rival of the series. And admittedly so, because like I, Buff, like I said, Buff was amazing. Buff being in call with Buff, Buff is the person that I met more so through the league that I love, adore, and enjoy. Um, Buff, I have nothing but positivity for Buff. Like, if you guys don't know who Buff is, please, 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 please check him out. He's amazing. Um, and he's just been constantly amazing and been that driving force for a long time and hanging out and all this stuff. But I, I didn't know Buff until through the league. And like I said, both matches were fun. We laughed. It was like, it was just genuine chemistry. Another point in the league and why it was recommended to get in call with the people you were fighting was that purpose. It was the purpose of get to know your opponents, hang out with your opponents, and just have fun. Um, and so I loved it. And then, of course, week one against Troll has to be up there as well. I, ha we I had no idea what I was getting into, what was going on. My week one was against the commissioner of the whole thing. Like, and of course, naturally, it's Troll, of all people, that I'd fight literally game one. So, I, that was a game that was hilarious. And then, of course, we were joking around about give me giving him Zygarde that he worked so desperately hard for. And then that play ended up being the wacky, funny play that was needed in order for me to win. Like, you can't script that shoot. So, again, a big shout out to everybody in the league, all the commissioners. You guys were all amazing. I loved the concept. I want to pursue the concept, figure out ways to, um, cl not necessarily, classify is not the word, but to specify the constraints of the concept. Because I, I, like I said, I loved the flesh. Now, or I guess it's not the flesh. It's the other way around. I loved the bones. And muscles of the league. Now we just gotta put the flesh on the league. And make it more specified and individualized. Um, and like I said, this, this concept really has great opportunity. And I, like I said, it was a great revitalizing tool for me. I've only been in two leagues ever. Right? I can now successfully say that I have won both. One, that was actually competitive. One, that was a meme league. So, that is something that not many people can say. And I am one of the people that have the opportunity to actually say that as the truth. Um, my other league, I went 8-5, and five, was the 6th seed, had a forfeit win beat the one seed and or beat the yeah beat the one seed and then beat the two seed back to back <sighs> again i had fun with this league i hope that you know you all as the viewers enjoyed it as much as i did um i was heavy into this league just because the people were amazing and i loved everybody so enough rambling for me today hopefully you all have a splendiferous rest of your day um, this video is going to go up today. Um, I'm recording it at 8, 8, 8, 20. So, um, it's 8.44 now. So it's been a solid 20 minute video. Uh, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, probably Sogalog on Friday, tomorrow. Cause I have that recorded actually and edited and ready to go out. So love you all. Bye.